Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, big one, big one. Oh, gosh. <laughs> All right, guys, we're out here at my favorite spot and uh, going for some jack smelt today. Don't often go for jack smelt. In my opinion, it's not a great eating fish, but you can use it for bait, so I'm gonna show you how I rig up. It's pretty busy out here, actually. I think I'm gonna walk down to a, comp a little bit of a different spot. What a beautiful evening this is. The fog has rolled in. And uh, you can probably only see maybe uh, 200 yards. It's, uh, it's quite nice. All right, guys. Look, at there's this little lagoon here. And the tide's going out and you can see how quickly it's going out. Water is just rushing out. So maybe I'll actually throw a lure with one of my rods and see if there's any stripers or halibut catching uh, small bait fish as they as they come out of this lagoon, but let me set up the uh, the the gear and we'll get going. All right, so guys, hopefully you can see I've got these sabiki rigs, just like a medium hook size, not super small, not not very big at all though. Um, and I'm gonna put this on my main line. I just have a swivel on my main line, and then the sabiki rigs, and that's about all you need. Just uh, about maybe a two or three ounce weight as well. And uh, I'm also going to tip it with some shrimp I just picked up at my local Asian market. So that's all there is to it. Let me uh, tie up and we'll cast her out there. All right, guys, I'm headed over to the pier now. Hopefully I'll have some better luck here. All right, guys, got one. Got one on here. Hopefully it doesn't come off. Feels like a jack smelt. Oh yeah, there it is. These things are known to come off sabiki rigs, but I think we'll be a-okay. There we go. Oh, there's one. It's about to make a mess of the sabiki rig. There we go. That's how you catch jack smelt. You don't even need any bait. Apparently all my bait fell off. <laughs> Stop, you're gonna hook me. Oh no, he got hooked in the tail with this one. There you guys go. One jack smelt. Today, I'm just gonna be walking along the shoreline, throwing my lure. Probably can't see that anymore. I should go get my headlamp. Stand by, please. All right, headlamp acquired. Throwing this little Kitek again. Hopefully, get some stripers. In case you guys are wondering if you can fish somewhere, if it has this public shore sign, you can definitely fish. And a lot of play, a lot of parking places next to the public shoreline have uh, parking as well. And uh, they've been going around and they've been putting up signs that say parking for the public shoreline. So, um, you know, that's one thing about living in the Bay Area is they, California has sanctioned a lot of this uh, coastline to be public. So you won't see too many houses on it until you go up into like North Bay near Marin and Sausalito, then you get houses out in the water, um, which is a lot of private property up there. But down here on the peninsula, almost all of the coast is a public shoreline. So take advantage of it. Um, current time, 9.44. Be fishing until at least 10.15 tonight. And uh, why am I fishing so late? Good question. Um, well, I was working until about 8.30 p.m. Uh, yeah, I started at like 8.30 a.m. So it was like a t full 12 hour work day. Um, yeah, but that aside, I'm pretty excited to get out here and do some fishing. Uh, only 30 minutes today. I gotta, I gotta get to bed on time tonight. Um, hoping to edit a little bit. Uh, 
little bit of uh, some some new content for you guys. Uh, I also forgot my headlamp today, so I'm gonna try and find a, a more well lit little place to fish from. These new office buildings I was at yesterday have some street lights, so I'm gonna go see if I can walk down to the water a little bit. Again, 9:30. Uh, tides. Uh, uh oh. I'm about to get a ticket. How you doing? Oh, gotcha. Okay, I'll 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 go, I'll go somewhere else. Thank you. <sighs> Parking lot's closed, so I got to go park somewhere else, which means I can't fish here. Um, unless I want to walk pretty far. But that was a quick, uh, quick fishing trip, huh, guys? <laughs> All right, let's throw this lure around for thirty minutes. All right, guys, we got the whole pier to ourselves. I wanted to go after some jack smell again. Try and see if I can catch a few. Alright guys, I got emergency rations tonight. A touch of sea salt. That's fitting. It's a little... A little hard and brittle. It's a little cold. How you doing? Good, how are you? Doing alright. What? No, not yet. Bucket's yeah. empty. Yeah, I'm just going for jack smell. Oh, cool, cool, cool. You want me to just take a look at your gear real quick? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Oh, you don't need your license. This is a public pier. Oh, I thought public pier is only in the ocean. You didn't need license. Well, this is still sort of like the San Francisco Bay. So okay. It's, it's still Fair marine enough. marine waters. So, yeah. yeah, it's actually a public pier and you don't yeah. need a license. You can have up to two rods, all that good stuff. All the good stuff. Yeah, it's like camera gear. I'm filming a little video. Oh, cool, cool. Where are you from? I live in San Mateo. Oh, cool. Yeah. What are you guys checking for? So, it's like we know like people say, like, I haven't caught anything, but unfortunately people lie to us. So, like, yeah. go through and check things. Also, I'm actually on my uh, my field training cycle. So, back there is my field training officer. So, he grades me on every contact I do. Gotcha. So part of my, like, grading regiment is going through everything and showing that I can make a legitimate search. Cool. Also, cool. part of that is like saying, like, sir, can you take your hands out of your pockets just to land in the contest? Yeah. See, and it's like, now I have a good officer safety. It's not really that I suspect you of anything or even feel threatened. It's just kind of part of the grading regimen. Yeah, I, I got you. <laughs> is, but, is my light in your face, by the way? I'll oh, turn no, it off no, to the fine. side. That thing's lighting everything up. <laughs> I like your, um, the uh, tip of your rods, though. That little, um. Yeah, you like that? Gosh, that was bright. Um, yeah, they, they're on Amazon. They're like, they sell like 20 of them for like 10 bucks. Yeah, they've got little bells on them too, so like, huh. when you, uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, awesome. it's cool, you yeah. get the whole thing to yourself too. Yeah, usually there's more people out, but I oh, guess it's yeah. kind of cold right now. I guess, last time I was here, it was filled all the way. Then again, that was like two in the afternoon, so. <laughs> yeah, during, like, during the daytime, it's usually it's more busy, day. but. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much for your Yeah, time. have a good day. Have a good night. Oh, yeah, have a good night. Yeah. <laughs> all right, y'all. New place today. Fished here once in my entire life. This is the Emeryville Marina. Look at all these sailboats. I kind of want to live on one. What do you guys think? Life on a sailboat, traveling the world and fishing. Sounds like a good time to me. This place is pretty nice. I'll have to come back. Look how low this tide is. Normally it comes up all the way to there. It's down about eight feet right now. It's crazy. We're at like a like a negative point five today. But there's still fish to be caught, I think. The water actually looks pretty clear today, which is a good sign. So I'm gonna get baited up and uh, we'll cast it out there and see how we do. All right, guys, low tide today was at 3.47, it's 5.30. Oh, there we go. Oh, it came off. I don't know what that was. Here we go. This is interesting. Look at this. 
It broke my line. Can you guys see that? Oh yeah, but the pier? Yeah. Yeah, do you go for crab or do you go uh, uh, sometimes the crab, sometimes or perch? The, the perch. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh big one, big one. Oh gosh. <laughs> That is a big one. I wonder what that is. Hey. Hey. You see? Yeah, what is that? Wait, wait, you see over there? Yeah, I, I can see it in the water. I don't know what it is though. I wonder what it is. It could be a halibut. If it's a halibut, it's going to break off. I've got very light line on right now. Oh. That's why I'm like trying to. It's big. Look, it's big, right? It's big goal, right? Oh no! You want to tie a little bit, right? Yeah, this is a. This feels like a stingray. Oh. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh. So I think that's a shark. Yeah. Yeah. Let me go see if I can land him. <laughs> I got to bring him over to these rocks here. Oh! It's a little slippery down here. <laughs> Whoa! All right, the things I do for fish. <laughs> Gotta get a little closer. <laughs> oh! Yeah, it's a little leopard. Alright, let's try not to die here. Decent size. There we go. Good size leopard. See if I can get back up here without falling. I was not planning on catching this today, but good. a good healthy leopard shark. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he got hooked a couple times. Let me get my pliers. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, do you think you can take a picture for me? He's going back. He's a healthy shark. I want him to make more babies. All right, guys. Look what he did to my hook. This is why I was playing him so carefully. Right there. He bent out my hook and he broke it off. It's not even connected to my line anymore. I got really lucky I landed that fish. That was fun. They're back. Like three seconds later, they're back. Look at this, guys. I don't even think they're scared of me. All right, guys, there's this huge pier right here next to, next to 92. Oh man, there's a fence. Oh no. There's a big fence across the road. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see or how far down you can see. But this was a huge pier. San Mateo must have been a great fishing great fishing hub on this pier. Probably a lot of halibut and striper caught out there. This should be a fun little place. I'm going to rig up and then I'll toss them out. Alright guys. 9.50. Super short trip today. I'm gonna be out of here by 10.30. Oh man, I am beat. Oh, this one's got a little bite. I think he's running towards me. No, I think I lost it. He's taking pictures for the Instagram 
follow me at OTH Bates. But it's taking some good night photos for you guys. I'm trying to get better quality pictures there because I'm not catching fish. And I missed that bite. Oh, what a bummer. Now I can't leave. I gotta stay out here for like another five minutes. This one's going right back. Ugh. When you're fishing, focus on fishing. Gosh. Got one on, feels like a small shark. Small little leopard. Not bad. All right, guys, we're gonna throw him back. There he goes. Oh, he's all tangled up in my rig. Nothing but small ones out there tonight. Oh, he's barely hooked. All right, little guy going back. Grow the six feet for me, please. No way. No way, I caught this jack smell on a five aught circle hook. Are you kidding me? This hook, how did this even fit in his mouth? Let me just show you guys what I'm using today. This is what I was using yesterday. Catch those, uh, catch those small baby shark. Um, but essentially it's, it's a high-low rig with some, some pretty good sized hooks. And you could use a high-low rig out here and it would work just fine. But we have the weight and then we have a hook coming off it's here and then moving a little further up the line we have another hook and then here's our main line with the swivel hopefully you guys can see main line swivel down hook one that's the high hook down hook two that's the low hook weight at the bottom so high low rig it'll sit in the water kind of like this and uh, this one will be pretty close to the bottom, but this one will be about a foot off the, the, the floor of the bay. All right, guys, you see how frozen this bait is and how hard it is to get on my hook? So here's a tip. Just hook it as well as you can while it's still frozen. Go through a smaller portion of the bait like that, and then just drop it in the water. And then you're gonna leave it there for like two or three minutes and it'll thaw right out. The water really helps it thaw out quicker, so. Kenny's tip for today. And while you're doing that, you can set up your second rod. If you don't have a second rod, well, you're, you're out of luck. You just sit and wait. Twiddle your thumbs for two minutes. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching my 365 day fishing challenge. If you want to watch from the beginning, just click up here. If uh, you want to see the latest video I have posted, click up here. And as always, have a good day.